All right, my friends, uh, we have a somewhat simple, somewhat difficult situation today. What we're interested in is how many shots do you have to take at a bad guy in order to reach a certain level of certainty of hitting him at least once? So, for instance, you take one shot at a bad guy, uh, you may hit him, you may miss him. If you take two shots at a bad guy, well, you may hit him or miss him that second time. But if you take two shots rather than just one, you have a greater chance of hitting him than if you shoot only once, obviously, and so on. So we're interested in how many shots you have to take in order to reach, say, 95% chance that you're going to hit this guy. Now, uh, all probability is conditional. All probability is conditional on the facts uh, or rather uh, assumptions that you're going to make in the thing. So it depends on the type of situation we're talking about and we're talk and it depends on the type of weapons involved and all this kind of a thing. If you have uh, if you have a shotgun and you're in a situation where you're you're aiming at some bad guy and you got buckshot or something like this, well, uh, that's different than if you have a pistol and you have a pistol and you're aiming at somebody and you're going to be shooting off the pistol at somebody that's just different they're different situations they have different probabilities we're more interested in the situation where you have a pistol because we're going to be looking at uh, statistics involving police uh, because that's the only ones i could really find but these apply too to people who are protecting their home or business or something like this. And the reason all this is interesting is because you always hear, well, uh, in a situation, a homeowner or a store owner or something like this has uh, protected his home against some bad guy and he empties out his magazine uh, or empties out the revolver, whatever he's got. And people are always wondering, why do they have, or, or cops do this with bad guys. And they say, why did they have to shoot so many times? Well, people who have training in this kind of thing and experience understand why. But I want to explain it to everybody else who might not understand using some very simple probability. Or maybe not so simple, but I'm going to try to make it simple for you to understand. Now, there's not a lot of data out there uh, on this kind of a thing. There is a, a journal called Policing. There's a journal for everything. And some authors, I'll have links on the blog, uh, wrote a uh, article called Hitting or Missing the Mark. And they looked at a certain situation in a certain town over, oh, seven years or something like this. And they looked at the number of times the, the cops took shots. They took shots about 300 times. They, they shot their weapons 300 times. One, two, three, bang, bang, bang. 300 times around. And they hit uh the bad guys around 100 times so that's a hit rate of about a third that's overall police and that's uh that's over all the situations uh, you know an accumulated sort of a statistic it's not exactly the right statistic what we really want is we want in this situation me or you at home and you have a gun and you're aiming at somebody and you're hitting them or or a cop in a or single cop or a number of cops in a, a situation where there's a bad guy he's taking aim and taking a shot what's the what's the chance he's going to hit that 33% is for uh, accumulated across all these incidences but it's the only one we have so we'll we'll use that in some different statistics just to kind of a see just to see what we can come up with. Now, I looked at different scenarios depending on uh, skill levels, uh, skill level of uh, the person taking. So we're interested in the probability of at least one hit in N shots. So you take one, one shot, two, three, N, N shots. And we're going to look at people with different skill levels. So let's look at first a person of a skill level of 40%. What does that mean, 40%? Well, that's somebody who, in a situation, this is a situation, a bad guy situation, you know, the target's moving, uh, he may be firing at you, or any number of things that might be going on. But in those kind of a situations, on average, for people who have pretty high skill, I would say that's pretty high skill, of hitting the target at least 40%, how many shots must they take in order to be 95% sure of hitting at least once? All right, do you understand that? So any individual shot has a 40% chance of hitting, and I want to know how many shots I have to take in order that I could be 95% sure I'm going to hit at least once. Well, it turns out you could just draw this pretty easily. You can calculate this stuff pretty easily, uh, and I'll show calculations on, on the blog of how to do this kind of thing. He's got to take six shots. 
he's got to take six shots, this person with 40% uh, uh, skill, in order to be sure of 95% sure of hitting the, the, the bad guy at least once. Six shots. So if he's got an old school revolver, or they're not necessarily old school, but uh, if he's got a revolver, a six shot revolver, he's got to unload the thing in order to be 95% sure of hitting at least once. So that explains right there. You, you, you have to shoot quite a lot uh, in order to get to some reasonable level of certainty. And you want to be certain. You want to be at least 95, if not 99% certain, of, uh, of eventually hitting that target at least once because this is, of course, a bad guy situation. So you want that probability high. So what about the cops? It's difficult to tell, like I said, with those statistics, but if they have a 30% accuracy rate in individual uh, instances, they have to take about nine shots, about nine shots to be 95% sure of hitting at least once. So that's quite a big difference, uh, six to nine. So a lot of, uh, of course, uh, pistols will have a magazine of, uh, around that uh, capability but uh, a revolver won't, unless it's a 22 or something like this. So what about somebody more at my level of skill, 20%? Uh, of course, uh, you know, everybody has varying skills, and it all depends on the situation. Your skill may change from situation to situation. We're just looking at this stuff on average. For somebody with a 20% 20 ch 20 chance every one of the shots is going to hit, how many shots do they have to take? Well, they have to take 13 so now we're pushing it. We're pushing it for one, <laughs> one magazine level of thing. Not uh, you know, thirteen. Thirteen in a magazine is is quite. A, it's not necessarily a lot for uh, you know a rifle or something like this, but for a for a handgun of some kind, that's a lot. So in order to reach that level of certainty, and you're only going to hit twenty percent of the time in individual shots, you got to take thirteen shots. That's a lot. If you're someone really low, inexperienced and you only have a 10% chance of hitting in any individual thing 28 times 28 times and now if you have a if you have a magazine with a capacity of 10 for instance uh you're going to have to uh take the old one out and put the new one in take the old one out and put the new one you have to do that you're going to have to do that procedure you're going to have to use three separate magazines in order to get 28 shots off to be 95% sure of hitting at least once so you've got to do a lot of shooting if you don't have a lot of experience so that's quite a lot so and i i have a table here maybe you can see it uh just bringing out the individual uh just bringing out these numbers on this 95% line here so, uh, you know, if you have 10% chance of hitting individual shots, you got to shoot 98 times to be 95% sure. And 13 shots if you're 20% accuracy, 9 shots if you're 30% accuracy, and only 6 if you're 40% accuracy. So that argues, of course, for more trading. And, it, and, and, the, and the results are dramatic. Six shots you can get in a revolver. Of course, nine you, you can't unless it's a 22 or something. Uh, but if, with with nine, uh, you can get away with most, uh, you know, like a nine millimeter or something like this. And that's why police shoot so much. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you even more. If you want to be 99% sure of hitting the bad guy and you're only 10% accurate in your individual shots, you got to shoot 40 times, 40 times if you got a 10 round magazine you got to empty you got to do that uh, a lot of times you're just not going to make it all right uh if you're 20 percent accuracy you still have to shoot 19 and if you're 30 percent accuracy like the police roughly you still have to shoot 14 times so that's why when there's a bad guy situation you got a couple of cops two three cops whatever it is and they're all shooting they're all shooting and they're all emptying out their weapons that's why that's why, because in that in that exchange of gunfire, uh, it's still not a high probability event that you're going to hit this guy at least once. It's just not not in a life or death situation, and that that explains it. Even if you're out on the range and you're good and you're hitting thirty percent of the targets, you know you got some kind of a a practice thing where the target is moving or uh, you're moving with respect to the target, something like this. Uh, you're going to have to shoot quite a lot of times. And if you're really good, uh, you only have to shoot 10 times. So that's maybe one magazine. Now, this is all uh, going to be on the blog. I'll explain the math of all this on the blog. But uh, this is just hitting 
the person at least once. This is just hitting the person at least once. It doesn't mean you're going to hit and disable them. Uh, it doesn't mean you're going to kill the guy or you're going to stop him or anything like this. Uh, a hit doesn't necessarily mean you've even discouraged the bad guy from coming at you. So in order to hit and uh, actually disable the subject or, or, or at least discourage him so that he stops his attack, you're going to have to shoot even more. Because a shot, necess uh, any shot from any of these is not necessarily going to be a killer shot, to, <laughs> unless you watch dumb movies like, uh, well, I won't get into that and irritate anybody. So, uh, this is why people have to empty their weapons. That's why they have to empty their magazines entirely. That's why when you have a, a bunch of cops surrounding a bad guy, that's why they all empty their weapons. Uh, because that increases the chance to a reasonable level of their own survival. It just follows naturally from these kinds of things. So that's it. Uh, you can go to the blog. Uh, it'll there'll be a link in the description below there, and you can come over and read exactly how this is all done. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.